Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to answer a question that I get asked a lot. What programming language to start with? So let's settle this once and for all. What programming language to start with? I'll give you a concrete answer shortly, but to be quite honest with you, it doesn't really matter. Let me explain. Software engineering is not just programming. You don't become a good software engineer by mastering a language or two. The goal of software engineering is to build software that is useful, reliable, and if necessary, scalable. Programming languages are the tools that make this happen. So don't focus on the tools and lose focus on the end goal. Think about it like this. Imagine you want to be a really good carpenter. You don't become a good carpenter just by learning how to use a handsaw. Even if you become a master in using handsaw, that will not make you a good carpenter. You become a good carpenter by learning how to use different types of saws, nail guns, uh, chisels, and so on. Now, if you want to be a carpenter and you're asking, hey, I want to be a carpenter, what tool should I learn first? Quite frankly, it doesn't matter. Just start somewhere because honestly, there's a lot of stuff that you need to learn anyways. Now, let's go back to software engineering. I personally feel that the reason why many of you even think about this question or, or get stuck trying to find an answer to this question is because you are scared to spend a lot of time and invest a lot of time trying to learn a language that might not be in demand or might not give you the job that you want. So let me put you at ease. Number one, again, your job title is going to be a software engineer. It's not going to be a Python developer or a JavaScript developer. You are a software engineer. If we go back to the carpenter analogy, everyone wants to hire a good, well-rounded carpenter who can get the job done. No one wants to hire a person just because they're good at using a handsaw or a measuring tape. Similarly, good software companies want to hire good software engineers. They don't care if you're a master in Python or if you're a master in C++ or whatever, because they understand that if you are a good software engineer, learning a new programming language is not really a big deal. Number two, learning any programming language will teach you the fundamental programming concepts that you need to learn in order to be a good software engineer. So you don't have to worry about that. Number three, I can guarantee you 100% that during your career, you will definitely use more than one programming language. And I'm not only talking about, you know, moving from one company to another, even in the same company, even in the same project that you're working on, you will most likely have to write code in different programming languages. So again, another reason not to worry that much about what programming language to start with. Now with all of that out of the way, there's no harm in learning programming languages that are popular and that are widely used in the industry. And for that, I recommend three languages, C++, Java, and Python. I guarantee you that you will not go wrong by learning one or more of these languages as they will teach you the fundamental programming concepts that you need to be a good software engineer, which is the ultimate goal that you should be looking for. But they also have the added benefit of being very popular, widely used programming languages that are used by many different companies. I personally believe that if you're an absolute beginner to programming in general, Python is one of the best programming languages to start with because it's very beginner friendly and it's relatively easier to learn than other languages. And that's why in this channel, I focus more on Python, not because I love Python or anything. I actually write more code in C++ than Python. I do both, but I definitely, for the last couple of months, I've been writing more C++ than Python, but because I believe that if you're an absolute beginner, which is the majority of you, it's much easier to start by learning Python. So I hope this was useful. I hope this settles this question once and for all. If anyone comes to you for advice about what programming language to start with, refer them to this video. I'll see you in the next video.